Strong Heartland Academy education can do and giving children opportunities. Yep. Shows you what people can do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's good. Thank you for all your compliments. Uh, I hope you're doing well too. Yeah. 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 I'm fine. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. yeah very well. It's good. Yes. To see you. Yeah. Yeah. It's very strange when in Australia, when my, at my age, you were called it with the COVID-19, you were called vulnerable and elderly. And I don't feel vulnerable or elderly. And when people talk about me like that, you go, who are they talking about? And then you realize they're talking about you. That's very strange. Very strange indeed. Anyway, there it is. Yes, you want to start? Uh, shall we? I'm talking too much. Yeah, yeah, yes. Let's yeah, let's do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. over to you, Bina and Preeti. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Rahul, sir. Uh, we are of only our Atlant family, sir. Yeah, just us. Oh. Okay, namaste, all ladies and gentlemen, and a very good morning to all. Uh, you all are welcome here in our free primary sessions today. Uh, first of all, we'd like to give our introduction. Uh, it's me, Preeti Bhagat, and my colleague. It's me, Prina Maji. Uh, we both are a pre primary grade teacher in Heartland Schools. Okay. Today we are here to share our pre-primary journey till 2020. So before starting our presentation today, uh, we would like to give our school introductions. Uh, its name is Heartland Academy, uh, which is located in Nepal, Kathmandu. And it was established in 1999 AD. Uh, at the first, uh, in the beginning of our school, it was running in the traditional way, uh, just playing sitting on a bench and a desk, and it was more focused on the academic part only, uh, where the children were using to uh, where the children were doing a lot of rote learning and was only habitual on reading and writing. Uh, we can say in short, uh, children were habitual on reading, writing and speaking only and listening also. Uh, so after the 10 years, uh, our CLCR, uh, which is in Australia, supported the, our schools. And then the way of our teaching and learning was changed. Uh, then we went on the playway method. So since to till yet, uh, we are running our pre-schools on learning through play, sorry, on learning through doing, or we can say from uh, playway method. Uh, so there was a uh, lot of changes when uh, after CLC and Australia arrived uh, in our school or before, after they supported our schools. Uh, here you can see in our slide uh, a lot of changes, a major changes is mentioned here. Uh, I would like to give some example. Uh, the slide before uh, CLCR arrivals, our classroom was contested with uh, less materials or we can say less uh, resources. But after uh, CLCR arrives, our classroom became uh, more spacious with uh, more resource or you can say teaching materials. Uh, and at first, in the beginning of our schools, uh, there were large number of students in one class and with uh, only a single teacher was handling the class. Uh, but nowadays, uh, our student enrollment is only 25 and two and three teachers are available in each classes. And uh, at first uh, we teacher those uh, single teacher were teaching the class to the whole class at once, but nowadays uh, we are having a small group teachings. Uh, suppose if we have a 25 students in our class, so then we are dividing uh, 25 students in five groups. 
suppose in one group five and another five, this like uh, we divided the 25 groups in five groups. Uh, and we just keep the some names in the groups like uh, we can say apple group or any mountain names or any color name just like red group, yellow group, something like that. And at first uh, we were focusing only on the academically part of students but nowadays we are uh, evaluating the students on their engagement or how they are doing the activities in the classrooms. Uh, and also uh, there were at first we were uh, making results and there was a ranking system in the schools, but nowadays uh, we don't have any ranking system in our schools. And we make just a portfolio, portfolio and provide it to the uh, parents. And children are being continuously observed or evaluated in our schools. Or uh, we can say we have a cash systems in our schools also. Uh, so, Bina ma'am, could you explain these pictures? Okay, thank you ma'am. So, this is one of the classroom of our preschool uh, with different corner setups. So, let's have a closer look at them. So here is uh, Dr. Connor, where our students can learn about uh, what doctors and nurses do at the hospital, or uh, simply they can imitate as doctor or patient and learn themselves in engaging in that corner. So this is sub corner where they can pretend as subkeeper or customer and uh, learn the way how we buy and sell things. So this is our kitchen corner where our students are engaging and learning how we uh, work in the kitchen or what are the things that we do in the kitchen and learn uh, different things and um, about the kitchen. So let's have a look at another slide. So here is a math corner where our students uh, learn about different patterns, shapes, numbering, sorting, matching, uh, or sequencing using different materials uh, like uh, puzzle, uh, beads, flashcards, dominance card, uh, etc. So this is the reading corner uh, where our students can uh, look any of, uh, where our students can engage themselves and they can choose any of the book they like. Uh, so in this corner, we have book with lots of uh, uh, big pictures with less words so that uh, they can uh, understand easily. So this is Saloon. Uh, here in our school, our corners are set up according to the children interest. Uh, so uh, they can learn about different professions and different things or about our surroundings. So this is the uh, construction corner. Uh, here our student can construct anything uh, that they like or what uh, they imagine. Uh, for example, uh, like uh, houses or vehicles uh, or anything what are in their imagination. So we have different corners, so we can modify a uh, corner according to the children's interest. So let's have a look at another slide. Uh, so this is a circle time. Uh, we start our daily activities with uh, circle time which plays ice breaking role uh, between the time that they come from home and the time that they have to spend at school. Uh, so during this time, they can share anything that they like or uh, they can share their feelings about how they are feeling after coming to the school, uh, whether they are sad or happy and, do, and can do other activities as well. Uh, so. Uh, the activities freshen up their mind uh, before starting the other activities. Uh, 
Uh, so here you can see one of our teacher is teaching through uh, the storytelling uh, using puppets or muppets or other props. Mm, here our students are engaging uh, in memory games and our teacher is observing and letting them to take initiation. Similarly, uh, here our, one of the teacher is helping our students to match the cards. Uh, so here you can see our students are engaging in different corner activities which are self-oriented uh, and they can learn through real practice. Uh, these are the, some of the ways uh, uh, which, uh, which we use in our school to teach our students. So let's jump into the another uh, topic that is teacher's training, uh, which is also uh, one of the highlight of our school. So our school has been providing teacher's training for a long time, uh, which has greatly changed the attitude and behavior of teachers uh, toward the students and also the perception of Teaching in the preschool has also been changed after the training. Uh, so this training has a vital role uh, in uh, moving forward uh, from traditional teaching approach uh, to uh, play with teaching approach. So till now we have three teachers uh, from preschool with one year course and other teachers have done sub courses and applying new teaching ideas and methods. Uh, so here you can see the training that has been provided uh, to the teachers is funded by CLCR Australia. And also the first training concept to the teachers was first by, uh, brought by the CLCR Australia. And later on, different training centers are providing uh, training to our teachers. Also, the teachers from the same school, from different levels, are providing uh, training sessions from time and often, uh, so that uh, a professional development of the teachers can be uh, improved. So here you can see uh, some of the photos of taking uh, training in inclusive education. So our school, recently in our school, some, we have some of the uh, special children involved in our school. So uh, to better understand them and know how to assist or nurture them, uh, our school is providing sign language course and training on inclusive education. So as we are preschool teachers, we are uh, greatly uh, a thankful to Heartland School and associated valuable organizations for always supporting and giving us an opportunity uh, to develop personally and professionally. So let's go to another topic that is the features. Here are some of the features of our school, uh, which is learning environment. So as our school is democratic, uh, we provide peaceful environment to our students to learn. So we have a spacious and well-equipped classroom and has spacious outdoor area where our students can learn themselves and are guided according uh, to the uh, homework system. So we do not have homework system in our school. Uh, before few years ago, we used to provide homework to the students, but now we do not provide homework. That means uh, uh, we do not provide uh, the work, either reading or writing to our students, but uh, we provide some project work so that uh, they can be engaged and they can uh, do together with their parents and spend uh, some quality time with their families. So next one is uh, assessment system. So we do not have written exam system, but we evaluate our students 
continuously by observing them, listening them, or and we can record their uh, development or progress level in a document called portfolio. So teachers training, as we have already uh, shown in the before slide, all the teachers from uh, preschools are trained. So practical teaching and learning. Uh, our students uh, experience real learning in our school. Uh, so uh, they learn by doing, and uh, we teach our students according to their interest and plan accordingly. So uh, teachers use different uh, methods and interesting and fun teaching uh, approach for the students to learn. So another one is students' enrollment. Uh, we have limited seats uh, for students in each classroom. And recently we have set the age limit. We start our preschool, that is age three. Uh, next one is our Democratic Tuesday. So during this day, our students can engage themselves in any activities uh, they like. Uh, like dancing, singing, uh, cooking, or sports, either indoor or outdoor, uh, library activities, uh, so, they, uh, so that uh, they can learn and have fun at the same time. So here are some of the uh, pictures of our students' engagement. Uh, you can see here. So now other topic, will be continued by our pretty ma'am. Okay, thank you, Bina ma'am. Our next topic is quicker. Our next topic is uh, our why preschool at age three. Uh, recently, our school has started the age limit of the children's, uh, that is three. Uh, we are not taking now the students or kids under the three age. Uh, there may be a question why we should do this. Uh, what will be the benefit of taking the kids after the three? Or what may be the disadvantage or uh, disadvantage of taking the below S3? So in our next slides, uh, we have uh, listed some points here. So uh, taking of uh, benefits of taking uh, kids after the S3. So according to our experience, children with S3 uh, can uh, speak clearly. Uh, they are physically and mentally stable. And also they can recognize and understand the everything uh, we teachers want to teach the students uh, clearly. Um, and also they can express uh, their feelings or opinions uh, with others. Uh, means uh, suppose we can say that uh, as our kids are uh, under the three as fully dependent upon the parents, uh, they cannot uh, speak clearly or they cannot uh, say if uh, want to do anything. Suppose if uh, they want to use the restrooms, uh, so uh, they cannot say to the teacher because of the fear or any discouragement, they cannot explain So, and also that uh, students uh, can cope with the teacher and environment tools. And here is some disadvantage of having children below S3. Uh, you can see in our list, uh, bil below the S3, it is the time for children for the bonding uh, and attachment with their parents. Uh, so uh, when suddenly so they, they were taken to the schools, uh, they don't adjust with the teachers or any friends. Uh, they just starting, uh, start to cry and cry whole day. And because of that problems, uh, kids do not have the interest to learn or to do any types of activities. Always uh, he's uh, especially remembers uh, their fathers or mothers in the homes and they don't have the concentration power in our classrooms. Uh, so they don't even like to play or do any types of activities uh, in the classroom. They feel so much irritation. Uh, so, uh, 
next we want to jump on the next topic uh, that is because of this pandemic situation corona virus uh, we were not uh, socially or physically running our regular classes so since april we are on the on we are teaching the kids through the online classes so here are some activities which is done uh, by kids on the online classes at home with their parents help so you can see here uh, some kids uh, or pre primary they are engaging with the play do someone is making or uh, the stick can say chapatis also one making later or one of the students is making a shape different shapes and our one of the children uh, she is making or playing a uh, uh, house with the sticks counting sticks and also one of the students is playing in the kitchen room uh, at the home and all and our one student kids uh, she is learning numbers uh, through playing and here is the our so two pictures of circle time also uh, they uh, they were sharing uh, vegetables names uh, by taking our real vegetables from their kitchens and uh, explaining trying to tell their name in english and nepali with the help of their parents so here are some videos also uh, which was done in our during the classes uh, you can see uh, our one of the student uh, sees is spinning from one ball to one another balls uh, this activities uh, increases the concentration of our student and high i then hands concentration uh, sorry Mm. Coordination. So she is enjoying uh, very much uh, these activities in their homes. Mm. So we are doing a uh, lots of practical works, these types of uh, work which we cannot include in this uh, uh, slide. So. Binaman, please continue. So during the lesson, we need to count with the help of the small girl and with the help of her parents. So there are lots of activities uh, which our students have done during online classes. You can uh, see. Okay, ma. Boy, jump to me. So here is the activity of differentiation between a and small. Nani, kun big kun small chote anusta. student are uh, learning fruits and vegetables name and are uh, trying to say in sentence this is a tomato <laughs> this is a potato this is a onion 
This is Adinzar. This is it's all blood This is this is all cauliflower. All tomato. This is all garlic. This is all tomato. This is all banana. Banana. I like banana. I like cauliflower. So here, uh, one of the student is learning uh, to make pattern uh, using vegetables. So these were some activities of our pre-sections uh, and also recently we have celebrated our children's day uh, through the online classes because we are not able to attend uh, to go to the schools. So here are some videos, uh, children's they have participated, participated in the programs. Uh, we, this video is from nursery, LKG and UKG.
नजर 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 दुनिया भैगो पागल पागल श्रेष्ठ हो मेजी कक्षा में पढ़् हम स्कूल को नाम हटलाइन एकेडमी हो मावनी में बसु मा मीठो कविता लु कविता को शीर्षक जो हे नी आकाशा में कति राम जुन चुन खोजु उफ्री उफ्री सक छुन मन मन प्रश्न करू कहाँ को घर एक्ल बस आकाशा में लगे कि डर पूर्णिमा को रात में जुन अति राम लिहा उठी हे जुन कता भाग जुन तिमी आकाश को मी तल आन खेलु बनाई साथी सो धन्यवाद So this is our uh, short journey of pre-section, or you can say pre-school at Heartland Academy. 
and if you have any questions, you may ask uh, any queries. Uh -huh. Any questions? Okay. All right, I have a question. <laughs> this one. <laughs> you may, ma'am. We'll try oh, to give. <laughs> All right, I want to ask you as uh, professionals, professional teachers, how you enjoy teaching in a way uh, that is play-based. Uh, do you, what are, how do, how do you feel as teachers teaching this way, supporting the children? So how does that feel for you both? So ma'am, <laughs> we are enjoying uh, with playing a uh, lots of materials, uh, you can use uh, different resources, different materials, and we can engage the students in the different corner as the uh, kids choice. And also, we are enjoying. And on the daily basis, uh, we are learning something from the child because uh, every child uh, they do the different types of activities. Uh, sometimes they also teach us anything. <laughs> yeah. So we are just enjoying them. Good. And have you found, um, how has it been to be able to support their uh, learning in Nepali? And of course, because we uh, encourage our children to learn English at the same time. Is, have you found any difficulties keeping and supporting uh, ne their ongoing Nepali language and learning in Nepali as well as in English? Is there, are there challenges there for you? Uh, there are some challenges. As our pre-section kids are uh, very small to speak, so only one language as a Nepali also. At the temps, uh, same time, so we are uh, taking the English. In any topic, if we are teaching, uh, we may say we are teaching any fruits, on the topic, uh, then uh, we teach it in the both languages, in English also and the Nepali also. Mm -hmm. So it's very tough for the ne uh, nursery kids, but uh, in LKG, UKG, just they are trying. Uh, but it's not that the nursery kids are not trying. Uh, when we speak frequently, uh, kids are able to just catch up the words, but not at the, at the starting uh, of the session, but we can say after the middle, uh, they are just trying to speak in the both language. Uh, some words just like uh, simple words only, uh, not uh, long sentences. So just like, yeah. may I come in, go to toilet, or this is apple, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And for you, Binu? Yes, ma'am. Same. Uh, students are trying to learn both uh, in Nepali and English language uh, in short. So... Uh, the same oh, good. Okay. So the, my next question is just about parents. How, um, I know often it is difficult for, for Nepali parents to um, engage with a system which is very different from their own education. So how do you support parents to help them uh, understand what we are trying uh, trying to achieve with their children. What what are what is what are the difficulties that you find there? Uh, before some years, uh, we uh, we have uh, so much difficult to uh, understand uh, to make understand to the parents about how we teach in our school. Uh, but nowadays, recently, we have some of the parents uh, who understand about our philosophy. Uh, and so uh, it is now uh, we feel that uh, our uh, way of teaching is going to be uh, fruitful or going to be successful uh, now. In as uh, we are in the pre-sections, uh, we are running uh, through playing method or we can say through the practical method. So parents are being happy because which we are doing, uh, just uh, if we are set up, we are making set up of different corners, uh, kids are just, uh, just imitating those things at the homes. They just pick up any materials of the home and they think 
oh this is uh, something like uh, if they got uh, i think uh, i can show you <laughs> if they get something like uh, this white type of and they just say, oh it is a it is stethoscope or we can say any materials they use they can just imagine and tell their parents oh this is this is then parents are being happy oh my child is learning in the school in practical way yeah yeah okay and what about using the uh, your outdoor space and playground how do you how do you use that because uh, often you know parents at home they don't have a lot of space for their children so how do you use your outdoor your outdoor space and playground uh, we are using uh, according uh, we are not uh, taking all the students at one time uh, suppose in the pre section we have the three classes uh, we have made the schedule of the weeks uh, on which day which class are taking and just we divided uh, the student in half group and half group uh, maybe in the classroom or half maybe in the playgrounds and teachers and with our sisters uh, aya yeah the, we are just uh, taking the students and in doing different types of uh, outdoor games uh, we are using our uh, schools ground also and there is a out of the school there is also a play big playground now so we are using the both playground for that good terrific well i don't have any more questions thank you for answering all those questions i really enjoyed uh the presentation i think that you both did a really wonderful job so um we will have to have you at the next conference you'll have to do that as well yeah Okay, so so I so I thank you very much. So I don't know whether anybody else has got any questions, but um, to ask, or are we finished? Or I have one question for Pirtimis. Oh, very good, Bim. Yeah, go. I want to hear yes, that. Sir. Yeah. Okay, Pirtimis. Yes, sir. Okay, your presentation that was really good. We enjoyed a lot, and. Uh, you uh, try to give the clear picture of the heartland pre primary section that is excellent uh, so my query is uh, uh, to you is uh, what difference uh, you are getting in the physical class and the online class that you have been providing since a long time mm -hmm. almost seven month uh, so do you think we can replace the uh, physical class with online class can we achieve all the uh, objectives or there is something different and you are getting problem uh, thank you very much sir for your questions uh, as my experience uh, there is a lots of differences by being physical and getting the online uh, first of all we are getting the internet problem at the same time uh, when we started to teach something of electricity or we can say our battery power something like that is occurring time to times and also uh, what we want to say students are i don't think the 100% they are getting if we will be there in the e schools uh, we can engage with them but in the online we are just giving direction please do this do this and do this and they are just trying with the parents as our parents all are not uh, much more uh, educated uh, so uh, we are giving instruction to their parents also Uh, so please do like this like this and we are just sharing videos also photos also and just they are trying to do but uh, not exactly like that how we teach in the physical classroom sir so there is a lots of differences and it will be better uh, much more better for our kids uh, for the holistic development uh, through the schools uh, in the online so we are uh, focusing so only mainly 75% academically but in the if we are in the schools uh, we can just uh, engage the student in the different corners or we can say learning areas uh, or we can use the outdoor games also but in uh, online that is not possible mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's good but ultimately we have to be updated with the system and the situation that is in front of us right now yeah and it yeah. may go for a long time as well and at that time uh we have to uh cope with this and we have to update ourselves and we have to continue our teaching learning activities as well so this is the situation anyway thank you very good uh participation can i just can i add to that answer 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be my life just answer. Um, there is nothing like being able to hold a child physically, to be able to nurture them, to be able to comfort them, particularly in the pre-primary, I, I, for any child really. And I think online learning definitely has a place. I think, you know, we, as you know, we use it at school for iPads and stuff like that. Um, I can see it having a place as the kids get older, like you could do some combination, but the social interaction and the importance of having that, uh, the social interaction for children, but also with other peers and, you know, older kids and teachers and you in the playground, that, that nothing replaces that, that, yeah. that, that physical. And you're right. We don't have a choice now. So we do the best that we can. And it seems like you're all doing an amazing job. I am in awe, actually, of what you've been able to achieve. Um, but kids need to be, we are social creatures. So we need to be with each other when it comes to it. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. I know we agree. Thank you, Mom, for more clear figures. So any questions or so before ending, we'd like to thank uh, our Heartland School and the ID Conference for giving us the opportunity to participate in this program. As this is our first year in the ID, hope we will get a chance to speak again in the next year of our coming years. Thank you. There will, be no, there will be no choice. You will have it. <laughs> you will have the platform. <laughs> Okay, again, yes. and I would like to thanks to our all the teachers or the audience uh, who listens or attentively uh, sharing. So, okay, good news. You did so, great job. Thank you, thank you everybody. Bye. Bye. You did a terrific job. I'm so, I am so impressed. Really. Okay. I will see you later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Okay. So now keep on. live time stop Yeah, I mean the thanks for slide at the Honor Pine. <laughs> Time to shit you, Niamro. Your live recording is recording. Come on, sir. 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 Come further things and we have to be ready for tomorrow's session uh, only we are here heartland team now or anyone else no just heartland team okay